Okay, hey Chuckle Fucks, it's your boy, Dark Right Goo here. What what if Issei was a reincarnation of Zoro Noah and Grim Zhao? Uh I keep forgetting how to say that last name, but well, fuck it. And uh and was betrayed. Yeah, and also had anti venom, but I didn't put it in the title because I know it's super super fucking long. Yes. I don't know why I did a super super long title. But fuck it, I don't care. But not the point, let me just begin on to part two, because this was about, like, two weeks old, I think so? Wait, I don't remember. Um, wait, uh, yeah, two weeks old, but it hasn't been a, what's it called, month, so of course, no recap. Of course, after this, I'm gonna be recording, what's it called, a what if on my second channel, oh, not second channel, first channel, main channel. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be uploading, like, I want to upload four videos today, trying to. Mostly two videos on the second channel and two videos on my first channel, but yeah. Just so I can, yeah. But not the point. The reason why I'm trying to believe to do four is because I have the whole afternoon to do it. For the reason that I don't have school. My school literally got canceled. Well, not literally got canceled. Mostly got canceled from the fact that where I live is fucking freezing temperature. Well, it's pretty freezing temperature because, well, it can be literally a hundred right now and then changes to a fucking unknown negative five or something. But yeah, but not the point. So yeah, and also my sink literally got frozen again. Fuck six. <sighs> not the point. Let me begin. This is what if I know I'm rambling on, but yeah, this is a check. But the second channel to do it. So yeah, I don't care. <laughs> uh, let me begin. Okay. So we go into EC right now, meeting up with Azo, An Akana, and also, well, Kiba, and, well, Gasper. So let's begin. This is where EC is chuckling, saying, <laughs> This is where all four of them are kind of interrogating EC. This is where, well, EC has greenish hair, bluish eyes, bluish highlights, and of course, they're asking why EC looks completely different. Akana isn't really complaining, though. She actually likes the kind of new Issei. Uh, Issei also being kind of more muscular, well built, and also having more of a confidence boost. Literally. This is where, well, Kiva's confused and even, well, uh, what's it called? Gasper. But of course, this is where Azo is like literally just, just trying to see and how Issei literally changed. Of course, they don't understand and even, well, what's it called? Was it called? I also thought that Issei got a second, like a second sacred gear or something, but literally he just transformed into white venom. That's that's the only thing that he thinks. He he doesn't know what exactly a venom is. He doesn't even know what a symbiote is exactly or anything at all is. Of course, this is where they can see the little hollow mask that Issei has near his cheek, mostly covering up the little claw marks that mostly Rhea's kind of put him. And so, of course, this is where, well, no one actually knows that the claw marks are still there. But this is where, well, the little bony mask thing is kind of covering up his face. This is where, well, Issei says, well, other than that, I'm glad to see everyone here. Everyone is fine. Akana is looking good. And, yeah, this is where Akana blushes a little bit and everyone just kind of just smiles at him. This is where, well, <sighs> this is where Elsa says, Issei, do you hate... Um, how should I say? Do I hate Rias? Of course I do. Does it work well? Uh, they look at him with this, like, kind of confused look. Because when he says, do I hate Rias, he said it like if he was talking about the goddamn weather or something. But of course, does it work well? They look at him and then they say, oh, um, do you hate, do I hate Asia and uh, Zenobia and even Irina? Yes, I do. I hate them all. And also, I hate Donzo, or whatever that guy's name was again. Sounds like a Naruto character. It's where, well, Zoro says Donzo, Donzo. Like, he's saying this in his head. Where have I heard that name? This is where, well, we go into a flashback of, well, Zoro getting lost and literally getting into the Naruto world. And being right next to an emo duckling, well, emo hair duckling guy. Right now, fighting against, well, the, what's it called, five... Well, five great nations 
This is where Zoro had his three swords and his well, one in his mouth and two right in his left arm and right hand. Right now, helping out the emo duckling, fighting against Donzo and his two what's it called bodyguards. Then we go back. We just go back into he safe saying, hmm. But still, I don't really care. Because all I gotta say is they're so pathetic than me. So I don't really care. <laughs> this is where well as I'll say I see. Well, Isei, this is where Isei says, yeah? This is where, well, as I was say, hmm. Do you, do you mind going to the Gorgario, or mostly Gorgario, whatever the hell it's called? This is where Isei says, uh, yes, I do mind. This is where, as I was saying, come on, let me just test on you a little bit. This is where Isei says, no, I don't want to be tested on. I'm not a, I'm not a, what's it called, guinea pig for your amusement. As I say, please. This is where Isei says, no. This is where I was say, I'll buy you anything. This is where he says, um, five bottles of sick. No, wait. A big barrel of sick. Um, two bottles of, uh, well, uh, what's it called? Vodka and also, um, hmm. Hmm. I also want to fight volley. This is where, well, as I say, wait, wait, wait a fucking minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Easy. This is where, well, uh, Azo kind of like got near him and of course put his arm around, uh, well, Issei and says, okay, I can do the, okay, two bottles of, well, vodka. The barrel, of, like, the, how big do you want the barrel to be? Hmm. What is the biggest kind? Azo pales and says, okay, are you, I know that you're depressed and other things. Issei says, I'm not depressed. I'm just kind of thirsty. <laughs> this is where, well. As it says, yeah, with that face, are you sure you're not depressed? Nope. This is where, well, as it says, okay, I can do all of that except kind of ask Volley for fighting. Wait, why do you want to fight Volley? I want to kick his ass. <laughs> this is where, well, as it says, what? Oh, I'm just kidding. But really, um, I want to actually talk to Sir Zex. This is where, well, and I need your help to kind of get in, get either in contact with him. I asked Sona, but Sona didn't say anything about, like, she might get him or not. Okay, what do you want from Sir Zex? A couple of things. Really, a couple of things. <sighs> As I say, fine. Um, meet up here tomorrow at 7. Okay. Isei says, am I also getting my alcohol? Yes, but don't tell uh, Miss, uh, what they call Grace of Because if she hears about this, she's going to kill me. This is where, well, Isei says, I know, I know, I know. Not to tell her. But if I get caught uh, to blame it on um, Surtex, this is where, well, as I say, that's my boy. <laughs> this is where, well, Isei kind of just grins. Of course, this is where, well, Akano, Kiba, and Gasper. Gasper looks confused. Kiba kind of just looks at them with this just odd expression. And Akano just kind of coughs and says, uh, what are you two talking about? This is where, well, uh, as I was saying, oh, he basically wants to talk to Sir Zack. So, yeah. This is where, well, Akano kind of smiles with this evilish smile. Because he knows that Issei basically said he needs, like, two different types of alcohol and fights Vali. This is where, well... As I say, that whole fight against Vali was a joke. He mostly wants to talk to, well, Sir Zex. This is where, well, I'm going to say, I see. What about the, this is where he says, well, I'm going home. <laughs> well, I'm going to go to my apartment. I kind of rented a while ago. But yeah, this is where, well, I'm going to say, wait, can I also come with you? He says, sure. This is where, well, I'm going to decide to follow Issei, but yeah. This is where, well, uh, Kiba and, well, Gasper looks at each other and says, well, he's different. <laughs> this is where Elsa says, yes, he is really different. Hmm. <sighs> I wish he was a little bit less mature. Man, I was going to, he was going to be my proud, I was a car heir to my son. He will be my son, the proudest son I ever had. This is where Elsa was kind of crying inside because he realized that Ethan, well, you say isn't really a pervert. That much he actually is more stern, more what the call go lucky half the time, happier. And not that really was a call well perverted. 
he's quite different. The reason why Issei is kind of go lucky a little bit is because he just doesn't give a shit. People are weaker to him, so he doesn't care. But yeah. This is where, well, he's not that go lucky, but yeah. This is where, well, we go into Issei and Akuno getting towards his, well, apartments. Literally, he bought it like just a couple of like days ago. But yeah, when he got to, you know, when he got ye uh, here yesterday. So yeah. So of course, the work well, Issei doesn't really have much things inside, but yeah. And it's pretty much a nice apartment. Does it work well? Akuno is kind of looking around and she's kind of saying, so is it really the place you just bought? Seems pretty new that looks like you barely even have anything unpacked. Issei says, pretty much, yeah. Is where Akuno says, so why aren't you going with your parents? Ah, eh, hell no, I'm not going there. This is where Akuno says, why not? I already know they're gonna complain to me about the whole bullshit, or Rias might have erased their memories or whatever, I don't really care. I just don't wanna get involved with my parents' freaking life because I know they're gonna be annoying. And I know that I'm gonna be seeing Rias, Azia, Azonia, and also Irina there, or even that freaking bastard, but I just don't care. I don't want to be anywhere near them. That's where, well, I can always just smiles. And that's where, well, Issei says, Can I ask you a question? Are you sure you didn't actually do anything with that guy? That's where, well, I can always No, of course not. I was with, well, I was with my father. I was training and trying to get stronger in my lightning ability. I wasn't as strong as I thought when I was, uh, was a calm. Well, fighting against, well, a lot of things. Like fighting against, well, uh, Loki and other stuff like the other rating games. I'm pretty weak. This is where, well, he says, you're not weak. Uh, no, you're strong. You're actually one of the strongest people I ever met when we first met. Uh, but still, you're interesting. You see here, you're a... Fallen angel and a devil. You're stronger than me. You should be stronger than me. Listen, where? Well, I cannot say, but I'm not. He says, says, that's just because you gotta train a little bit harder. I'll help you train. Issei kind of just smiles at her. This is where she blushes a little bit, but yeah. And this is where? Well, Issei said, but yeah. This is where? Well, I cannot say, thank you, Issei. This is where? Well, Issei just smiles at her. And this is where? Well. I can not say so Issei. Huh? How big this is where Issei says uh, this is where Issei's face becomes right and says, no, we're not talking about that. That's where Akuno just giggles a little bit, just like say ada ada, why not? Issei says, Well um if you wanna know how kind of uh how how big did it get, uh you're gonna have to see it when we kind of go to sleep together. This is where Akuno, Akuno kind of just becomes red a little bit. This is where, well, Issei just chuckles a little bit and says, huh, I might should tease you instead. This is where Akuno says, well, we might be able to go together. This is where Issei says, nah, I'm fine. Besides, I really gonna have to wake up early tomorrow. I can't stay all up night with you. This is where Akuno's face becomes red. This is where, well, Issei just chuckles and says, well, I'm going to the showers. If you want to join, you can join. This is where Issei had in a very teasing kind of uh, tone. This is where Hakuno blushes a little bit more. This is where Issei basically just washes up and then kind of gets out. Of course, this is where he basically has a towel around his kind of waist. And he is still kind of wet. And his like water kind of drips down his like, what's it called, chest and other things. Of course, this is where, well, Hakuno is on the couch kind of looking at the TV a little bit. Just because, well... She's not really going to stay here too long. She is just going to go back. Mostly kind of live where... Mostly go to their... Uh, uh, whatever, whatever it's called. Mostly where the Fallen Angels are at. Just to talk to her father mostly. But yeah, to get stronger. And when Akuna was about to kind of... Well, heard the door open and say... Hey, easy. I'm a... This is where Akuna's face becomes red. And she started bleeding a little bit from her nose. This is where Issa says... Hey, uh, what's it called? This is where... Well... We go into, well, uh, Hakuno kind of having a blood nose, and this is where, well, 
Issei kind of just smiles with this evilish grin and says, Oh, Akano, why are you bleeding from your nose? This is where Akano looks away. Right now, all her face is red. And this is where, well, Issei is getting closer to her. But this is where, well, Issei kind of right now snaps his fingers. And this is where, well, he basically kind of made a magic circle around him to basically change into his regular outfit, not his school uniform. But this is where, well, Issei pokes her. And this is where she jumps up and says, Issei, this is where, well, she realized that Issei has his clothes back again. But yeah. He mostly dries up by kind of using a little bit of fire magic and then kind of, well, was a car. Uh, also, then change clothes, but yeah. This is where, well, Akino says, what? Wait, huh? This is where, well, he says, what? Well, you thought I was just going to tackle you down and then make you mine? This is where, well, he said it's such a seductive uh, kind of voice, and this is where Akino's face was all red. This is where, well, he says, just giggles and says, you're really cute, Akino. Even though, well, as a car, well, <laughs> how can I really stand up to that cuteness you have? This is where Akuna says, stop with all the teasing. This is where Issei says, aww, but you tease me a lot also when we, well, met first. Why can't I tease my senior? This is where Issei said it very seductively. This is where, well, Akuna says, stop it. This is where, well, Issei says, fine. He just grins at her. This is where, well. He kind of pushes his hair up with his hand, and this is where, well, Issei kind of lays on the couch next to her. Issei says, so what do you want to talk to me? Well, I'm not really going to stay here too long, Akuno says. Hmm, why not? Because I got to go talk to my father at the Gregorio. This is where Issei says, ah, okay. This is where, well, Issei said, but before you go, you're going to at least give me a goodbye kiss or what? This is where Akuno kind of blushes, and this is where, well, she actually does by kind of kissing him really fast in the mouth and then kind of getting up and saying, okay, bye. This is where she starts walking away very fast, like walking too mm -hmm. fast. Issei says, oh. Issei kind of just grins a little bit. And this is where Issei said, wow, that was fast. I thought you weren't that fast kisser. This is where Issei kind of said teasing. This is where, well, Akuno says, well, I've got to be going, Issei. This is where Issei says, okay, bye. This is where, well, Akino then closes the door, opens it, and then closes it. And this is where, well, she just hides to herself. This is where she's still red. And this is where, well, she says, gotta go with my father. Yeah, yeah, don't don't think of Issei, even if he's a little bit more teasy. Oh, God. This is where, well, she then just disappears in a magic circle. Issei grins himself. This is where, well, Drake said in his head, saying, wow. You're a fast mover, aren't you, Issei? Issei says, yep, I am. This is where, well, Issei keeps grinning to himself and says, she's really adorable when she wants to be. This is where, well, Drake says, wow, you, so what, are you going to be just a one, well, single, well, are you just going to just date one girl or what? He says, I haven't really thought of that. If I kind of build up a harem, I don't really want to have that whole same problem. So I might just pick one to two girls. Maybe. This is where, well, Drake says, I thought your perverted self was already gone. Your lustful self. I might not still, I might not have, well, lots of lust before, like before. But I still have some. I won't have that much. So you can say that I'm not a very lustful person. Drake grins and says, well, that's good. And also, are you really trying to fight Volley? Dr this is where Issei says, <laughs> of course not. I'll do that later. I'll kick his ass later. This is where, well, Drake just chuckles and says, really, kid? You're really just going to kick his ass? I'm going to surprise him when I don't need wings and he still does. Mm -hmm. This is where Drake says, really? Really? So, so what? Are you going to use Balance Breaker and then after getting out of Balance Breaker, you're just going to fly towards him and beat his ass? Easy says, maybe. Actually, that doesn't sound too bad. This is where, well, Drake says, you're a terrible person. Easy says, oh, come on, Drake. You can't be too mean to me. You're just being so mean. That's what Drake says. Easy, do you even hear what you're trying to say to yourself? He says, says, don't worry. It's not like I'm going to be using settle against him. You are, aren't you? 
Yeah, I'm gonna love to see if he tries to divide that. <sighs> You're just a dick. This is where Issei says, oh, come on. I'm not that bad. This is where Drake says, okay, shut up and just go to sleep. Issei said, fine. But I probably won't be able to go to sleep thanks to Akano's just, well, sudden change of mood. This is where, well, Drake says, oh, shut up, brass, and just go to sleep. Issei says, fine. This is where, well, Issei kind of literally just goes back to his bed. Changing out of his outfit and just kind of has, well, his was a cop pajamas. And pretty much his pajamas are just his regular clothes when he's just getting. But yeah, he just goes to sleep. But yeah, this is where next day he wakes up at 6, gets to the school at 7 or mostly gets, well, kind of early there, mostly 6.50. The reason why he took a little bit too long at his house. It's because he was just eating and doing other stuff, but yeah. But we go into Issei getting there at 6.50. Hmm. This is where, well, 6.50 p.m. Uh, in the p.m. a.m. This is where, well, Issei is waiting. And this is where, well, Azo gets, well, towards the school and says, Issei, um, why, why did I just meet up with a, well, why did yesterday that I just meet up with a blushing Akano? This is where, well, Issei said, huh? Oh, that, um, I don't know. I don't have any of that problem. This is where, oh, he was just grinning to himself. This is where, well, as, as, well, as I kind of just look at him, just grins a little bit and says, huh, he still has those, well, moods on girls, don't you? <sighs> Whatever. So you want to talk to Sir Tax, don't you? Yep. I think he's not in a meeting right now. Let me call him and see if you can go with, well, you can either go towards him or he can come over here. This is where he says, hey, any, anything is fine. I just want to talk to him. Mostly facing him, but yeah. This is where, well. <laughs> Azo says, okay. This is where, well. Azo calls up, was it called Sir Zex? And we go to Sir Zex. Nee, 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 nee. He's just sleeping right now. <sighs> right now on his desk. He's right now sleeping on his desk because he was doing a lot of paperwork. And there's a bottle of alcohol right next to him. This is where, well. Grace B kind of walks in and sees the magic circle appears ringing. Sir Zex is still sleeping and has a belt out of alcohol. She cleans up anything that's on his desk. Right now, we'll wake him up by kind of hitting him in the head, mostly kind of bonking him. And this is where Sir Zex takes, huh, huh, what, 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 what hour is it? This is where, well, Grace B is saying it's almost 6.57 in the human world. This is where, well, Sir Zach says, oh, yeah. oh, a magic circle. This is where he answers and says, hello. This is where Azo says, yo, Sir Zach, um, I have someone here to talk to you. Please don't tell me it's my sister. No, it's not your sister. It's someone else. You might be so glad to meet them when you kind of, well, see them again. Huh? Uh, sure, I'll be there. I'll also be there with Grace of E, okay? This is where, well, sir, well, mostly Addison says, are you hanged over? No. This is where, well, Grace of V and the other call says, yes. This is where Addison says, okay, damn. He's gonna be here. He's just, he's a hangover. Also, I'm not bringing you the alcohol right now because I know Grace of V was going to come along with Sir Zach, so yeah. This is where, well, the magic circle appears in Azo's kind of like mostly room of his classroom and this is where, well, <sighs> this is where Sir Zach says, so oh, Azo, what do you need? This is where Grace of e is like right next to, well, Sir Zach's and this is where, well, Azo says to meet him. This is where, he, uh, well, Azo kind of like puts both of his hands towards Easy, and this is where, well, uh, Sir Zach says, huh? This is where Grace of E says, he looks familiar. This is where, well, Sir Zach says, I, uh, I, I don't know what to say. Azo, how am I going to know who's he when he has literally green hair, blue uh, highlights, and blue eyes? Azo says, damn, I guess you would never remember your little brother, did you? This is where Azo just wants to kind of like mess around with Sir Zach and Sir Zach says, little brother. Huh. The only little brother I ever call was Issei. This is where he then looks, he squints his eyes to look at Issei. Issei looks at him and says, 
poke. He pokes him right in the forehead just because it's funny to him. This is where, well, Sir, Sir Zex kind of says, ow, you little brat. This is where, well, he then kind of like shook his head and looks him, well, looks at Issei. And of course, he does have some interesting features that kind of resemble him to be, well, Issei. But of course, the whole, what's it called, well, blue kind of highlights and even blue eyebrows with blue eyes kind of makes it hard to even pinpoint this is easy this is where well starts acting easy this is where he grabs his head because it hurts this is where he's still hung over this is where well grace of says easy this is where grace of kind of hugs well her little brother figure but yeah this is where well starts acting um why is your hair green blue highlights and blue eyes he says, why, don't you like it? This is where, well, he kind of just puts his hand mostly under his chin just to kind of say, you don't like my new style? This is where, well, uh, mostly, Sir Zach says, okay, he says, I don't know how you're, what just happened. He kind of looks at it, was it called Azo to see if he knows what just happened? Azo says, I have no clue. He, I just met him yesterday and that's how he looks like. That and he, I think, walk in a sec, uh, second sacred gear. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. This is where he realized that Issa looks completely different from his brownish hair and brownish eyes to look like someone that just looks like close to a supermodel. But yeah. But mostly also looks to kind of be somewhat serious. Kind of. Not that much. But yeah. This is where, well, Grace would be kind of just ruffle well he says hair a little bit mostly kind of like touches it and it is kind of soft and of course kind of like yeah just to work well grace me says his hair is soft it's actually much more kind of puffy and soft she keeps just patting it but yeah and this is where he says sister can you stop uh -huh. this is where well he's actually blushing a little bit but yeah this is where also kind of chuckles a little bit but yeah <sighs> sir zach says okay he says I am a little bit hung over, but what do you want from me? This is where, well, Issei says, um, a couple of favors. Actually, I have three different favors. This is where, well, Sir Zach says, okay, and what are those? This is where, well, Issei said, I want to talk to, well, uh, mostly Rhea's uh, parents. Mostly he says what's it called, Rhea's father and Rhea's mother. This is where, well, Sir Zach says, okay, what do you want to talk to them? I want to counsel, counsel the marriage between me and Rias. This is where a Sir Zex kind of winds his eyes and looks at Issei. And of course, Issei does have a good reason to do it. This is where, well, he then says, Okay, I understand why you, why you want to cancel it. And I won't stop you. I actually don't care of stopping you. I know what happened between you and Rias. But yeah, what is your other two? I want to remove the pieces from Rhea's, uh, well, I mostly want to be, well, how should I say, I do not want to be any more a part of Rhea's parage, and I also want to remove the eight, pin, uh, mostly eight pawn pieces that I have in my body. Is it work? Well, as a, uh, well, mostly Sir Zach kind of looks at him and says, yeah, I can do that. And then I want to have my own parage. I know that uh, I need to be a high-ranking devil to do it, but I don't really care. I don't really care if it has to be, well, non-evil pieces, if they just have to be, like, some pieces that don't actually, like, change anyone's, well, devil into a devil life or whatever. I don't really care. I just want to be having my own parage. They don't really need to be devils. They don't really need to be anything. But, yeah. It's a work. Well, <sighs> Sir Sex says... Hmm. Okay. I can do with all those requests. This is where, well, he says it. Okay. Really? Yep. And, yeah. I was thinking of giving a, what's it called, mostly a gift to you when you actually turn 18 to, well, give you your own parage. I know that pirate and devils need to be doing that, but I don't care. You, right, you already went to so much, so yeah. He says, really? This is where Sir Zach kind of smiles at him and says, yeah. Still, I'm very, very, my eyes are kind of hurting from your hair. This is where, well, Grace says, I'm, hmm, I kind of like his hair. It's not hurting my eyes. This is where I says, it kind of does hurt my eyes a little bit. 
if I just look at his hair most of the time. This is where, well, you say kind of looks at them. I'm just saying, really? How does my ha hair just hurt your eyes? This is where, well, it's bright, they both said. This is where Grace would be, it's fine. This is where, well, she says with a very calm expression. And of course, she's saying that both Azo and Sir Jax are kind of overreacting, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei just grins at her, but yeah, just smiles at her, but yeah. This is where, well, we go into mostly the underworld. Mostly Issei went with Sertax and, of course, Grace B and Azo kind of also went to the underworld to kind of meet up with uh, Bazil Bub, or, well, mostly uh, Ju Judah? What, what was his name again? This is where, well, they kind of meet up with Ajuka, kind of, because he's like the scientist of a bunch of things. That's where, well, Ajuka says, ah, Sir Zax, Grace, uh, Lady Grace of B, and, uh, what's it called? Azo, Lord uh, Azo. What can I do for you, all three? This is where, well, Sir Zax says, well, I need you to remove eight pawn pieces from someone. I also am requesting for, well, some, well, what's it called? chest pieces or evil pieces for the same person oh okay this is where well ajuka says let me see what i can do this is where he needs the person who has the eight palm pieces and he sees the green hair boy with uh blue highlights and blue eyes and of course his clothing is similar to that zoro and grimshaw but yeah this is where well isa is not wearing what's it called his uniform he really didn't care but this is where well they kind of, uh, mostly Ajuka kind of sees, uh, well, Issei, and of course does make a magic circle around him, and of course, right now seeing the eight palm pieces. Now, the eight palm pieces are there. He says, I can remove them all, so don't worry. It won't kill him. This is where, well, it would just take, like, two hours. This is where Issei nodded. He didn't really care. <laughs> he really chatted. Well, he had to just stand there for two hours, but yeah. We go into a two-hour time skip, and Issei managed to get all his eight palm pieces out of his body. So he's basically back to kind of a normal human. Actually, he just basically transformed into a normal human. He actually, the eight pawn pieces were removed from his body. It would have just stayed him to uh, turn into a devil. Well, stayed him to just be a devil. But it literally just went back to being a normal human. This is where, well, they realized that, yeah, he went to a normal human. And Juka says, huh, I accidentally removed all eight pawn pieces. That all eight pawn pieces still had, well, the double power. And it looked like he transformed back to a double. This is where Ajoka didn't really question in who exactly he was. Until he noticed that all the, well, one of the special pawn pieces, like, he gave Issei a while ago. But yeah, this is where he says, wait, Issei, is that you? Issei says, oh yeah, it's me, Ajoka. This is where Ajoka says, you look different, now that I realize. This is where Issei not. So, I'm guessing that you are also going to create yourself, uh, well... Your own parage. Uh, Sir Zax asked for that. Yep, pretty much. This is where, well, Ajuka nodded and says, Well, I. We. Mm, I can create what's it called a special type of, well, evil pieces if you want for, if you want me to do it. This is where Issa said, Hmm. Yeah. Mm. This is where Issa says, Hmm. Can I add my own magical power into it and then change its kind of appearance? Yeah, you can do that. For these palm pieces, it's mostly the kind of beta version. Uh, because the actual, mostly, I wanted to kind of give you an actual proper version of these chess pieces. Because Sorsax asked for me to kind of create them. Just so when you turn 18. But I guess right now you can kind of make them your own. This is where you say, say really? Yeah, and we're also my. If you want to, we can also postpone the whole battle between uh, Sir Orcus and you later on. This is where you say thanks. Yeah, I would like that. This is where well, Ajuka nodded. This is where well, he brings out the mostly the box of the evil pieces, or mostly just evil pieces for Isay to kind of add his power so they can change. But yeah, this is where well. Issei has been training, and of course his species isn't really human entirely. He is kind of a hollow. So yeah, he is basically Grimjow's species. Uh, Zoro is still human. Um, well, in some theories, he isn't somewhat human. But yeah, you can say he is human. And was a car. Uh, 
he well has a little bit of uh, what's it called since Venom anti Venom is a part of Easy because they actually get along together. They actually connect very easily. He's also somewhat symbiote, not really. And of course, he is somewhat dragon. Because he did ask, what's it called, Drake to change him into a dragon by taking his dragon heart. Or mostly, the heart of a human to a dragon. But yeah. So, of course, that happens. This is where, well, that was on the island. I forgot to mention that, but yeah. This is where, well, he's, he was still kind of devil-like, but yeah. Well... He's well. He didn't still ask was the contract to kind of take his uh, human heart just yet. Mostly he will ask. Uh, well, Drake for that later. This is where well. You can say these are the palm pieces that or mostly not palm pieces. These are the what's it called chest pieces that you have. You have all well fifteen of the palm pieces. The eight uh, well mostly not fifteen palm pieces. Mostly the eight pieces or mostly eight palm pieces. Two knights. Two bishops, uh, what's it called? Two uh, rooks and also one queen. You will have 15 in total. Now, the king piece would kind of... Well, it's only for those who are ultimate class and people were agree upon. This is where... Well, so I really never did make a king piece. He say not and says, that's okay. I don't really mind. This is where... Well, Sir Jack says, no, it's better if you do have your own piece. So, I will ask what's it called, Ajuka to make, what's it called, make you a king piece. That's where Ajuka says, really? You want me to do that? Yes. This is where, well, Ajuka says, I would try. So, yeah. But those pieces are kind of forbidding. Don't worry. Issei will be powerful enough. Right, Issei? Issei said, yeah, I'm going to ask Drake to kind of change my species to a dragon. Is that okay? This is where Sir Zach says, yeah, it's fine. It's your body to change it. Besides, you already change appearance, so pretty much you can just change whatever. You don't need to add your magical power right now. I don't think it will matter for right now. You can do it on your own time. This is where Issei nodded. This is where, well, we go into Issei going back to the, what's it called, human world. Of course, he puts his kind of what's called a box, the chess pieces. In a was a call mostly into his like mindscape because he can do that, and of course it worked well. He has all of that kind of done, but before going to the human world, he kind of did go visit was a call mostly Sir Sack's kind of family, mostly uh, his father and mother, and of course yes, his Rhea's kind of parents also. But yeah, this worked well. Issei is going towards to meet up with them. This worked well. Sir Sack and Issei kind of. Asked was it called to meet up with was it called um so they meet up with uh Zen uh, yeah Zen Atticus uh Grammary and Vanilla La uh was it called Grammary and of course it worked well they're happy to see was it called Issei well mostly Issei being completely different and Sir Zax. now of course Sir Zax kind of explains why Issei is a little bit different but yeah the most that he can explain it at the best that he can. This is where, well, they understand, and this is where they ask Issei and why they meet up with both of them. This is where Issei says, I I want to cancel the marriage between me and, well, Rhea Skirmery. This is where both of them kind of wind their eyes, and this is where Sir Sachs kind of explains what really happened between them. This is where, well, Issei seems to be uncomfortable explaining what really happened both, between both of them, but yeah. Well, he kind of looks like it. This is where, well, mostly he's kind of sadder because... He kind of likes the, uh, well, mostly Rias' parents because they're cool and all them other things. But of course, he just sat in a little bit. But yeah, he doesn't really care about Rias that much. This is where, well, they understand. And this is where, well, Rias' mother is a little upset with Rias and how she behaved. And this is where, well, her father's the same. This is where, well, they nodded. And they still call Issei, like, son, even though was it called he's no longer going to be a part of their actual family because of Rhea's actions. But yeah, this is where Issei was surprised. This is where Issei says, but I'm not marrying Rhea no more. This is where they say, we don't really care if that was a problem or not. We will still call you son because you're still a nice child and very kind. This is where, well, Issei kind of grins and says, thank you. This is where, well, he smiles very gen uh, gently. But yeah, this is where, well, they just say, but still, we're just a little bit saddened about this news. But we will get over it in due time. This is where Issei says, 
Thank you. Thank you a lot. This is where, well, both Issei and Sorzak kind of go back to the human world. And Sorzak says, don't worry, Issei. Uh, Ajuka will make the king peace in a couple of days. And don't worry about the whole battle between you and Sir Orcus. You will still have enough time to train. So, yeah. That's where Issei says, thank you, Sorzak, for a lot. This is where Sorzak says, no problem, little brother. Besides, what is older brother supposed to do for little brothers? That's where Issei kind of just smiles at him. This is where, well, Sir Zach says, huh, well, good luck in your studies and other stuff. And also, please don't hurt my uh, little sister. I know that she did wrong to you, but please don't try to kill her. Issei says, I wouldn't even try to kill her, but can I kill the other bastard? Uh, baby? Actually, how about this? I know since you're going to have your own porridge, how about you go against my sister in the kind of battle between Sir Orcus and her team? This is where, well, Issei says, yeah, that'll be fine. This is where, well, Sir, uh, Sir Zach says, thank you again for a lot of things. This is where, well, Issei says, yeah, I guess you're welcome. This is where, well, Sir Zach then leaves, but yeah, this is where, well, Issei then kind of like is right next to Azo, and Azo says, so it's been about, how should I say, like five hours of, well, school day kind of almost being over. This is where, well, Issei says, damn, it didn't take that long, but when am I going to get my, this is where Azo says, don't worry, I have them prepared. This is where, well, I'm just wondering if you can actually teleport them to your house or apartments or wherever you live right now. This is where, well, Issei grins and says, don't worry, I got this. This is where, well, as it pulls out the two bottles of what's called vodka and literally the giant barrel of fucking sake and says, now teleport them fast before I get in trouble somehow with Sona or something like that. That's where Issei teleports him out of here, but yeah. But before doing that, he literally opened the vodka a little bit, puts a, uh, put like a cup, mostly he pulls out a cup out of nowhere and literally just pours it and then teleports a, a bottle of vodka away. Then just sips the vodka and says, mmm, delicious. <laughs> this is where, well, Elzo smacks himself and says, ah, I should have realized that you were going to do something like that. <laughs> this is where, well, uh, the door opens and this is where, well, Sona and Sabaki walks in. This is where, well, you see, kind of almost spits out his vodka. And this is where, well, Elzo realized, fuck. <laughs> this is where, well, as Sona smiles a sm uh, very like, evilish smile and says, well, mostly sadistic smile and says, why did I feel magic, huge amounts of magic about teleportation just appear? Uh, as I was saying, um, uh, uh, I, I was giving something to Issei here. This is where Issei says, yeah, 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 yeah. This is where, well, Sona says, what are you drinking, Issei? He says, uh, water. He drinks it all. Literally just throws the, what's it called, bottle away. And literally just smashed outside because the window was open. This is where, oh, so I'm going to say, what was it exactly? This is where, oh, he says, water. You can trust me. This is where, well, he say, said, oh, also, uh, if you want to know if it's actually water, play Mazo. He say teleports. He's gone. This is where Azo says, you mother. This is where, well, Sona says, what exactly did you give him? Uh, just some request that he asked me for. Yeah, this is where, well, so not size, but yeah. <sighs> I'm not going to get anything straight from you two. God damn it. This is where, well, Issei is already gone, but yeah. This is where Issei is mostly near the outskirts of mostly cool town, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei is right now thinking. Hmm. Hey, uh, what's it called? Drake, so remember what I was thinking about in my head? Yeah, you want me to change your human heart to a dragon heart? Yeah. Could that be impossible? It's not impossible. It's possible. It's just gonna hurt like a bitch. This is where Issei says, ah, fuck it. What's a more painful thing I can deal with? I can deal with it. I don't care. This is where, well, Drake says, okay. This is where, well, Issei says, before we do that, I see a white-haired man with, it seems, his group. This is where, well, Drake says, I can't believe you can actually see that far. That, then I'm using authorization hockey. <laughs> okay, what are you going to do? Fight him. <laughs> this is where, well, 
Trick says, oh god, you're a battle maniac now. This is where, uh, what's it called? Green Joe says, yeah, kick their ass, brats. Beat them to the fucking ground. This is where, well, Drake says, you're not helping, Grimjow. Zoro says, I suggest you cut them into a million pieces. Grimjow, this is where Drake says, no. This is where Anti Venom says, I will help you whatever you need. Issei said, <laughs> Issei is grinning with this like evilish smirk in this where Well, Drake says, you three aren't helping shit. <sighs> don't do anything crazy, Issei. You're already running towards them. Yeah, 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 don't worry. I'll be careful. This is where you see he's literally kind of close to them. They're most in the forest. And this is where um Kuvali says, okay. So we're near Kowal Town. <sighs> we're, okay, we need to get to this area. This is where well uh was it called Arthur says, Yeah, yeah, I know. This is where well uh was it called? This is where well Karuka and Bikar are over there and this is where because it Ah, we're near literally cool town. I would love to fight the Red Dragon Emperor. This is where Karuka, uh, Karuka says, I'm really wanting Sh uh, Shoroi or whatever her, whatever she calls with Ka Konako again. Um, yeah, I forgot what she kind of calls her, but yeah. This is where, oh, Karu, uh, Karu says, though I do want to meet up with the Red Dragon Emperor, maybe I can snatch him away from Red Skirmery. He, she says very whisperly and kind of hussy. This is where all of them are kind of just sweat dropping at her, but yeah. This is where, well, Arthur says, don't worry. I'll use Excalibur Ruler to get us out of here. This is where, well, Wally says, yeah, it'll be interesting to fight the Red Dragon Emperor again. It'll be funny just to keep him on his toes. He says, whoa, look at your hat. Well, what's it called? Look at your, what's it called? Day. It, I mean, what's it called? No, let me say that again. This is where, well, Issei says, Well, speak of the devil, I'm here, you fucker. This is where all of them turns, and this is where, well, Wally says, Who? Uh, what's it called? Arthur says, The hell? This is where, well, uh, Biku kind of says, The fuck? Well, mostly they say, Well, let me say that again. Wally says, Who? Arthur says, Duh. Biku says, Fuck. And mostly, what's it called? Koroka says, Are you? This is where, well, Issei says, well, you guys are stunned. I'm sad you guys forgot about me. Oh, well, I'm going to punch Vali in the face anyway. Vali says, what? <coughs> he gets punched in the face. He's literally sent into multiple trees. This is our uh, bolts. What's it called? Biku and even Arthur gets on guard. Kuroka also gets on guard. Literally, Issei appears right in front of Vali to easily punch him in the face. This is where, well, Issei says, well, guys, I can't believe, uh, well, I can't believe Vali is too slow. Hmm. Hmm. That's right, he says, stick out his tongue. Just smile, but stick out his tongue. This is where Biko says, I'm going to show you who you got to stick your tongue at. This is where Issei dodges the swing of mostly his, like, giant staff. And this is where, well, Issei just mostly dodges it by kind of spinning. And then appearing right in front of what's it called Biko and smashing him to the ground. This is where Issei says, huh, I'm not even using my sacred gear and I'm still kicking your ass. This is where Archer swings his sword at Issei. But this is where Issei pulls out his own sword. He says, Enma. This is where Issei says, Enma. This is where he clashes with, what's it called, Arthur and his own sword. This is where Arthur feels the ominous energy appearing from Enma. This is where Issei grins. This is where Issei then knees Arthur in the stomach. This is where Arthur is pushed back. This is where, well, Issei puts Enma back into, well, a sheaf and then disappears. And this is where Issei appears right in front of Kuroka. Right now into her kind of view, very close to her face. This is where Kuroka sends attacks, but this is where Issei grabs him. And this is where he puts his face really close to her and just kisses her mouth. This is where, well, she wipes her eyes. This is where, well, she tries to push him back, which she manages and says, Who the hell are you? My lips were only for those of the Red Dragon Emperor. Issei says, Huh, Red Dragon Emperor? Oh, you're too damn cute. I couldn't resist myself. This is where Kuroka's face becomes red a little bit. This is where, well, Vali appears saying, Ah, this is where he's right now flying, and of course he has his sacred guard out, and he doesn't, he's not in what's it called, well, he is in balance breaker, and this is where he swings a punch towards Issa, and this is where Issa says, what's it called, a sacred gear, uh, what's it called, he doesn't say balance breaker, he just says second liberation, this is where his godly appears and blocks, what's it called, the punch of what's it called, well, 
Vali. This is where Karaka went her eyes because the only red gauntlet there ever is from, well, mostly everyone wanting their eyes, is that uh, for Isis. Isis says, now that's a good punch there, uh, Vali. L unlucky for you, I managed to catch it without using boost, which that sucks for you. This is where, well, Karaka says, Isis? This is where uh, uh, Biku and Arthur say, oh, great, Red Dragon Emperor. This is where Vali says, Isis? This is where, well, he kind of says it in his kind of balance record. He kind of gets away from Ise, literally fine up, but yeah. This is where, well, Ise says, well, yeah, no shit. Didn't I just say, speak of the devil, I'm right in front of you, dumbasses? Or mostly, uh, idiots, except for my, what's it called, beautiful Karoka here. This is where, well, uh, all of them kind of looks at him, glares at him. This is where Karoka blushes and looks into the ground, but yeah. This is where, well, <sighs> Vali says, what the fuck happened to you? Uh, Issei say, long story short, I change. You're welcome. This is where Ali says, that doesn't explain anything. Oh, it does. Because I'm gonna literally kick your ass, Vali. Vali says, okay, we'll get into your balance breaker and I wanna fight you. Issei says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll fight you. This is where Issei literally just flies up and rushes towards Vali. This is where Vali says, wait, what the? This is where Issei punches him in the face. Right now, send him straight to the ground. This is where, well, Vali managed to block it, but this is where he wind his eyes. The power and strength from the fist that Issei swing. Issei has been training his physical body, so of course, it's a little bit more tougher and stronger. This is where Issei says, well, 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 Vali. Now, if you think I need wings to literally fly and kick your ass, then you're slowly mistaken. This is where Vali gets up and says, what the hell? This is where, well, Drake says, you're a dick. He's saying it in the back, uh, was it called in the background? This is where, well, he says, shut up, Drake, for a second. This is where Drake says, oh, come on. Literally, you just have to say, I can fly without wings. You're just being a jerk right now. Well, I literally can't transform into a devil right now, can I? Well, yeah, but you could have at least went balance breaker to give him a good balance uh, fight. Wouldn't that just be over murderer kill or ki overkill? Yeah, that's where Drake says, I guess you're right. I guess this is the only balanced way to do it. He says, says I guess so. This is where both Biku and was a guard says, what the fuck? He can fly without wings? Biku says, I wish I can literally fly without wings. That would be so much easier. Me traveling everywhere. So Arthur says, uh, interesting. This is where, well, Kuroko sees this and literally, she is literally looking at Issei. Literally, he, she literally thinks that he's a god. This is where, well, Issei says, so, Vali, can you fly without wings or do you need your wings to fly? This is where Vali gets up and says, okay, I don't know how you're doing this, but I don't care. This is where, well, he says, divide. This is where, well, he tries to divide Issei's power, which Issei just dodges. And right now he's up in the air, and this is where Issei says, hmm, this is going to be fun, don't you think? Now, of course, there's still the mask on his face, but no one really did talk about this, which Issei said, and he, he just kind of like makes, in his hand, a red settle appears. This is where, well, he says, settle. This is where his reality kind of explodes from his body a little bit. And this is where he then launches it as well. Uh, what's it called? Vali. Vali says, divide. Well, mostly his, at least, uh, mostly his sacred gear says, divide. Doesn't do anything. Divide. Doesn't do anything. Divide times five. This is where Vali said, because he's quite annoying why that isn't dividing. And it doesn't do jack. He's like saying, what the? This is where the thing actually gets close enough. Kaboom. This is where, well. Vali gets pushed out of his armor and literally just gets out of his sacred gear balance breaker. And he's right now with his two wings. That's where Issei appears behind him and says, Sup. This is where Vali says, Wait, how the fuck are you not? He literally gets kicked in the stomach and then launched into multiple trees. Mostly into the side of him, like into his like ribs, mostly his right side. And right now, launch out of the way. Back to where Biku and was the Archer are at. This is where Archer, well, we'll see. Vali's on the ground saying, like, Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. Well, he's a like, son of a bitch. He then looks up at Issei, and Issei literally just walking towards him. Right now with this skipping kind of happy motion. This is where, well, Issei says, So, how was that battle, Vali? Vali says, Okay, I have multiple questions. Issei says, That I won't answer. You're welcome. This is where, well, Vali looks at him with these glaring eyes and says, no, 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 you better fucking answer. 
Issa says, nah, I don't feel like it. This is where, well, mostly what's it called? Karoka kind of looks at Issa with these eyes of kind of hearts. This is where Issa looks at her and literally puts his arm around her and says, so Karoka, want to go out? This is where Karoka's face is all red because literally Issa doesn't beat around the bushes and just set her straight up on what he wants. This is where, well, Karoka says, um, well, <laughs> since, um, <clears throat> well, uh, uh this is where, well, Biku says, at least you got what you want, Karoka. Literally, you didn't you say you wanted to steal him away from Rhea's grimmery? Wait, this is where, well, Arthur says, aren't you with Rhea's? He says, says, nope, I'm no longer part of her parage neither. I literally don't have the pawn pieces, which I mean, which means I'm not a devil no more, which I can hold. This is where Issei pulls out this holy bottle of water and says, which I can just throw this at Vali without a care in the world. This is where, well, Vali wants his eyes and says, wait, wait, Issei, we can talk about this. We can talk about this. This is where Issei says, oh, come here, Vali. Now that this holy, holy water doesn't affect me, it can affect you. This is where, well, Vali says, stay the fuck away from me. Issei, uh, this is where he says, Red Dragon Emperor. This is where, well, uh, what's it called? Albion is confused, which he talks through the gauntlet, or mostly the wings, and says, Drake, what is happening exactly? And why does your host look like that? And Drake said in one single word, change. Albion says, that doesn't explain anything, Drake. This is where, well, uh, Drake says, yes, it does change. This is where, well, Albion says, I really hate you, Red Dragon. Fucking heavily red dragon bastard. This is where, well, Drake says, I hate you too. Don't worry. We're, we have mutual uh, mutual agreement here, uh, Albion. <sighs> Still, tell your host not to throw the holy water at my host. That that will hurt him like a bastard. This is where, well, Drake says, hey, uh, hey, you say, you remember that whole transfer power, mostly... Do the boost and transfer towards that holy water. You, what you did to the fried chicken. You say, say, oh yeah. You should do that. You say, say, interesting. Okay. Boost times a thousand. This is where, well, Albion right now kind of gets scared. And this is where, well, even Vali and this is where, well, Drake says, I don't think you can boost that far. You say, says, I know. It would have been funny though if I could. This is where, well. Both Vali and what's it called Abion said at the same time, thank the fuck God, even though they don't really believe in God because God is dead. But those who well, they don't care. Literally, they were right now scared because Issei would have just tortured Vali with the freaking holy water. But yeah, this is where, well, Karoka says, well, that's interesting. So you're no longer a devil or what? This is where Issei says, nope, I'm a human. Well, kind of. Other than that, I don't really care. This is where, well, Karoka says, What's down your face? This is where, well, Issa says, Huh? The mask? Oh, no, it just appeared a part of me. Uh, I mostly, I think it's because of my hollowish soul. It appears. <laughs> Issa kind of hinted a little bit that he's kind of part hollow a little bit, but yeah. This is where, well, Karoka says, It looks good on you, I guess. This is where Issa says, It really does? Wow. Thank you, Karaka Chen. This is where Karaka blushes a little bit and says, uh, um, um, um. She looks away and this is where, well, Issei kind of grins and says, You know, you're really adorable when your face is all red. Issei is getting closer. This is where Karaka says, uh, uh, This is where, well, Issei gets really close to her and literally just takes her lips again. This is where, well, all of them says, Oh, come on. Do you really have to rub this shit in in front of us? Uh, uh, Biku kind of said, Archer kind of just mumbles a little bit. And this is where Ali says, Really? This is where, well, Issei says, well, yes. Why why can't I do it? Is it rude of me to do this? This is where, Karaka, right now her face is all red. and says, no, no. This is where, well, she's kind of, her eyes are kind of spinning, but yeah. This is where Issei grins at her and says, well, bye, Karaka. Also, bye, uh, what's it called, Vali's team and Vali himself. I'm going to be going. See ya. This is where Issei literally just flies up. Without wings and just starts flying back to Cool Town. This is where, well, they all said, we literally got our asses beat by the same person that kind of was called the Groping Dragon. This is where, well, Biku said, this is where Arthur says, don't remind me. This is where, well, 
Oh, what's the cop? Um, Wally says, what the fuck? I literally gonna have to train harder now to literally fight him. I feel like a battle maniac, but let, yet he had that fucking grin and smile and look of him that he was a battle maniac. Is he taking my shit? And somewhere, well, uh, I'll be on stage. Nope, literally just think that he changed. Shut the fuck up with the whole change, Wally said. Well, I'm just saying, he changed. This is where, well, Wally says, I'm not taking his style of fighting before just so I can get more powerful. No, not happening. This is where, well, I'll be on stage. You might have, this is where Wally says, nope, not doing that. This is where, well, Kuroko is seeing what's it called. Well, Kuroko is seeing what's it called. You say fly away. And this is where, well, she has heart in her eyes. This is where, well, Wally's team managed to get up after a while. Well, Karoka isn't really hurt or anything. And they managed to just go back to the base. But yeah. This is where Issei gets back to his house. And of course, this is where, well, Issei says, Well, I feel no one's energy around here. Huh. He was about to go to sleep until he heard an explosion come outside. And this is where, well, Issei sees, well, mostly a house on fire. And someone on top of the roof kind of just laughing and giggling and other things. Her hair is a little bit crimson red but palish balan. Her eyes are kind of a little bit of, well, turning red from her dullish blue eyes. And this is where, well, she has palish skin. This is where Issa says, wherever the hell she is, well, damn, I can just admire her beauty. This is where, well, Drake says, focus, kid. Aren't you going to save him? Yeah, 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 I can see that. Ah. Uh, I can't use my magical power, can I? No, but there's a, what's it called, a hydrant over there. Right. Okay. This is where, well, Issei literally kicked the fucking hydrant orange thing open. He literally kicked that shit open, and this is where, well, no one else was paying attention to him because the hydrant was, like, an uh, orange hydrant thing was, like, underneath the building or kind of next to the building, but yeah, and no one did notice him just kick the shit the top off of it. And this is where, well, water sprays up and right now kind of putting out the fire. But yeah, this is where, well, people are in their eyes and wondering what happened. And this is where the girl says, damn it, ruin my fun. This is where she jumped out of, mostly a jump from the building and start running away. But yeah, this is where, well, she's in an alleyway right now. And this is where the fire department managed to get to it and managed to help people. And well, the problem, but yeah, and they also managed to put out the fire. But yeah, this is where, well, she says, damn it. It feels so great feeling all the despair from those people that were on the burning building. Ah, and also that explosion. Damn it. The fucking explosion didn't even work that much. This is where she has this, like, detonator uh, right in her hand. This is where she just throws it away. And this is where it didn't hit the ground, which she kind of noticed. Instead, this is where she noticed someone with greenish hair and bluish highlights and blue eyes grabbing the detonator. Right now throwing it up and down. This is where she said, damn it. Some bastard. That's where she then thinks, maybe I can seduce him. That's where, well, she kind of like pulls down her kind of like, uh, well, her, uh, what's it called? Mostly her clothing down a little bit. Mostly her kind of near her neck down and kind of show off a little bit of her cleavage because she's kind of wearing a uniform, but yeah, like a school uniform. And this is where, well, she unbuttoned a little bit of her kind of mostly buttons to show off a little bit more cleavage. This is where Issei gets close to her. And this is where she says, yes, I managed to seduce him. This is where Issei says, in her ear, wow, you're kind of beautiful. This is where, well, she kind of says, uh, that's not something I wanted to. This is where Issei says, oh, and if you think you're trying to seduce me, that's not really working. This is where, well, she wind her eyes and say, damn it. This is where she was about to jump away from uh, this person. It's mostly Issei, and this is where Issei just... Tosses the detonator up and grabs her hand. This is where Issei says, no, 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 no. I didn't say I want to talk to you. This is where she kind of says, damn it, let go of me. Or I will scream something that will make sure that, well, everyone thinks that you're doing something. Issei pulls her close and says, do it and I'll kill you. I'll snap your neck right now. This is where she gets scared. This is where, well, Issei said, wow, that actually scared you? I thought, I thought at that point that would make you feel despair or something. This is where, well, she kind of looks at him and says, Well, um, what do you want, though? This is where, well, he says, mm, just a talk. 
<laughs> but this is where I'm going to leave it off for part two of what if Issa was a reincarnation of Zora Noah, uh, Grimchow, what's it called? Yeah, Grimchow, I should really find out what happened. So Grimchow, Yeager, Yaquist, and of course, and was portrayed part two, but yeah. Other than that, I will end it off here for, well, part two of it, and yeah. Now, I have an idea on how to go on with the story, but other than that, I'm just going to end it off right now for here. I'm not going to go mostly on the main story. I might just go on my own story, but yeah. Since I kind of do that a lot to kind of first kind of build up a story and mostly stuff, but yeah. But not the point. Let me just end it off here and say, yeah, good night. Bye-bye.